Jesus, Yeshua, thank you for your blood that covers us. Thank you that you go before us and you go behind us. You're our rear guard. You're yes. sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. So we thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness, that your name is faithful and true. So we thank you that you've marked us with your name, that you're marking us with your name, Yeshua HaMashiach.
survivor. You are the repairer. You are the restorer. You are redeemer. We lift up all the men and women in jails and prisons across this land. And we release a mighty revival, God. Awaken them. Awaken them. God, reach them. We paint them with the blood of Jesus. God, reach the broken and the lost on the streets of Dallas, God. We ask you for radical salvation and revival, God. Do it again, God. Sweep through this land and revive the ones who need you, God. And just activate us as evangelists to go and reach them, God. Let them be reached and call for a bounty of souls. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. May the ones in the prisons know that you are good. Oh, may the ones that are behind bars know that you are faithful. May the ones in the prison, the prisons, come to know that you are good, Lord. And may the ones looked up behind bars know that you are faithful. They will know that you are faithful. They'll know that they're forgiven. promise of total restoration in families. Thank you for restoration of finances. Thank you for restoration of people's sexual identities. Thank you for restoration of marriages. God, thank you for breakthrough and addiction. Thank you that every place where the enemy has, where the enemy has intended to steal, kill, or destroy in our families, that you are bringing total restoration in Jesus' name. And we just declare grace, grace to every mountain that stands in our family, that it would become a plain, and that the fires that we're walking through as families, that when we come out on the other side, we wouldn't even smell like smoke in Jesus' name. Yeah, thank you, Father, that you can do anything. Surely the Lord has done great things. Do not fear. Joel 2, 23, be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the autumn rains because he is faithful. He is faithful. Father, you are faithful, Lord. And you promise that you will repay for the years the locusts have eaten. Yes, Father, you Lord. promise, Lord, that you would bring forth justice that you will bring forth blessing and that you will pour out your spirit in the last days. So I, Father, I pray and thank you. You have been faithful to Israel and the nations and the Gentiles. All those who call upon your name shall be saved in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Let's feed on his faithfulness. I remember your faithfulness to David. I remember your faithfulness to me. I remember your faithfulness to Noah. I remember your faithfulness to Moses. I remember your faithfulness to David. I remember your faithfulness to me. To me. We remember. Lord, I just declare right now for all the moms and grandmoms who are praying for prodigal children and grandchildren. Lord, you have promised and you are faithful and you can overcome the spirit of despair, the spirit of hopelessness, God, and you are a God who has hope for the future. And I ask, Lord, that you would use every mother, every grandmother who has prayed that they will see 
see the day that their children come back to you. Amen. Your faithfulness. Father God, we worship you. We exalt the name of Jesus. You're welcome in this place, Father God. Father God, we just come to you consuming fire, King of kings, Lamb of God, Lion of the tribe of Judah. You are worthy, Father God. Lord, I just ask and pray that you would raise up a generation of worshipers, a generation unafraid to worship the name of Jesus, that we would just sing and dance and praise. Lord, I pray for holy attire, Father God, holy attire in the name of Jesus, that as we pour out our praise, you would pour back into us for your honor, for your glory. In Jesus' name yeah Lord I just want to lift up families in this room God and I just ask Jesus that every single family member connected to someone in this room God and in this congregation would be saved in Jesus name God I just think about the people in the Bible that you reached God you reached Paul when no one thought you could you reached Nicodemus when no one thought you could and so for family members that feel so far that seems so hard that seems so dark in Jesus' name, I declare that this is the year of salvation for families. You are beautiful. Yes, Lord, and we we pray, we ask you that you would accomplish the work that you've created in those that you've called to go out to the nations, Lord. Those that were were called, and right now it seems like they have no way to get there, or they have no finances. We pray that you would finish that work, Lord. Oh Accomplish God, it, Lord, for your glory in Jesus' name. You can do anything, oh my God. Nothing's too hard for you, oh my God. You can do anything, oh my God. I just break off a spirit of barrenness in this room in Jesus' name. Anyone that wants children that does not have them, I just, I just call you a fruitful vine in Jesus' name. Five years ago, we were told that we cannot have children. And four months ago, we got a word that we will. And I claim that we will have children. My wife is a fruitful vine in Jesus' name. I remember Sarah. I remember Rebecca. I remember Hannah. I remember Rachel. I remember Elizabeth. And I claim fertility over my family in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, oh my God. Come on. You can do it. Open up barren wombs oh right now, God. God. Fruitful vines. Nothing's too hard for you. Oh my yeah. God. You can do it. Yeah. Oh my God. Baby, oh. in Jesus' name. Baby, in Jesus' name.
want to praise God that nothing is too hard for him and honor this young man who was born 20 years ago today who wasn't supposed to be but God. And 10 years ago today, we were homeless and I had no idea how to provide for five kids. I had, we had needs, not wants, yet somebody came up to that little boy and he said, what do you want? And after he asked him over and over and over again, he said, well, I'd like to play drums one day and look what God did 10 years later. So whatever you're believing God for, he is able. Do not doubt. Praise him. And it's his birthday today. Come on. I came here and it was just came here and it was just really really hard to give my gift of like dancing and praise to him because I didn't know I had bitterness towards him of thinking that he was unfaithful and then recounting like all the things that he said like Moses and David I just like had to give it and I just heard him say